But what if you died tomorrow? What would be the main regret running through your mind before dying? Thanatotherapy or therapy by death is meant to answer these questions. Hi, I'm Katya, all the way back from the Ukrainian village, and today I will tell you about my backyard grave or the experience of giving myself therapy by death. Da -da -da -da. This video is not going to be scary, I promise you. As soon as I found out about it, I knew I wanted to do it. I am really up for any kind of crazy challenge. But at that moment, my soul was aching to find out what was my meaning in this chaotic life. I asked my boyfriend to bury me in our backyard and he was not too excited about this idea, but he agreed. So I dug my own grave behind the sunflowers before the sunset. Then when it got dark, I took my yoga mat and my sleeping bag and I went into the grave and then he covered me with some sticks and then a black piece of plastic and then some earth. Uh, how did I breathe? We made sure to leave a hole above my head to make sure that I didn't die for real in that grave. <laughs> Once I was underground, I relaxed into the sound of crickets and happily awaited all the insights about my meaningless life. And then my subconscious told me something I did not really expect. It said I would have a son. What? Really? Dear subconscious, I did not ask you about children. And yet, that was the only insight. I wonder if I do really have a son at some point? I think it would be funny if he ever watched this video. <laughs> I stayed inside the grave for three or four more hours, dozing off and waking up. And then at some point I moved accidentally and all of my joints started to ache. I realized it was time to get out. And so I tried to move all these branches with earth that were on top of me, but they didn't move. And that was the moment I got really, really scared. That was the only moment I totally freaked out during this experience. And I was so scared I didn't take my time to move the branches or try to do it once more. I just pulled myself up through the hole that was left for my breathing space above my head. And I got out. It was a weird experience. Would I do it again? Probably not. Would I recommend it? Hell yeah! Just make sure your neighbors don't see your partner covering your grave with earth in your backyard, especially if you live in a very traditional Ukrainian community. Was it scary? See, I promised you. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel to see more of my crazy endeavors. And remember, only you decide what kind of silly things you do with your life. It was Katya all the way from the Ukrainian village in Dreamhata and see you again next Friday.